Welcome. Today we are looking at biodiesel. What is biodiesel? This is a renewable fuel composed of fatty acid methyl or ethyl esters. It's also is produced from biological sources such as vegetable oils, animal fats, and agai. Animal fats are not preferable since they contain high saturated fatty acids because normally they exist in solid form at room temperatures. But vegetable oils, both edible and non-edible, are the best raw materials for biodiesel. So it's a renewable fuel composed of fatty and acid methyl or ethyl esters. From this uh, illustration of 20, 2016, uh, we can see the leading biodiesel producers worldwide in 2016 in billion liters. And we can see here the United States of America is the highest with 5.5 billion liters, followed by Brazil with 3.8. And number three are, are three countries tying, that's Germany, in, Indonesia, and Argentina with 3 billion liters. France with 1.5, Thailand with 1.4, Spain 1.5, tying with Belgium and Colombia at 0.5, Canada at 0.4, China 0.3, and these figures must have changed, this is quite a long time ago. And now we look at the biodiesel properties in relative to diesel. Let's look at density in kilograms per liter. You can see diesel here is 0.84 while biodiesel is 0.88. So biodiesel is denser than diesel. With cosity millimeter squared per second, you can see here, uh, biodiesel has a higher viscosity of 7.5 and diesel has five. Flash point degrees Celsius, we have 18, biodiesel has very high at 120. How about the calorific value at 20 degrees centigrade? This is megajoules per kg, and here diesel, we can see it is it's higher, 42.7, up almost 43, and biodiesel is 37.1. And uh, when it comes to C10 number, CN, we have 50 for diesel, and biodiesel is 56. So equivalent, fuel, equivalent equivalence ratio is 1 to 0 0.91. So biodiesel is 0 0.91 was uh, compared with diesel, which is pegged at one. So let's look at some of those uh, properties. We uh, we see the definitions. What's a flash point? There's a measure of the flammability of the fuel. And how about the calorific value? This is the energy contained in a fuel or food determined by measuring the heat produced by the complete combustion co combustion of specified quantity and we saw diesel has a higher calorific value i think it was almost 43 while by diesel was about 37. how about cn number this is the number is referred to cn uh is abbreviated as cn it refers to the combustion quality of the fuel which it, it indicates the ignition characteristics and the highest cn indicates higher combustion efficiency and smoother combustion of fuel. If we come back here, you can see CN for biodiesel is higher than diesel. So those are the terms as explained in this slide. Let's look at now the fuel equivalence ratio. This is defined as the ratio of the actual fuel air ratio to the stoichiometric fuel air ratio. And this stoichiometric combustion occurs when no other oxygen, all of it is consumed in the reaction. And there is no molecular oxygen or O2 in the product. So there's no oxygen remaining. All of it has been consumed. If the equivalence ratio is equal to 1, the combustion is stoichiometric. So if it's 1 to 1, if it is less than 1, the combustion is lean with the excess Air. And if it is greater than 1, the combustion is rich with incomplete combustion. So this is a matter of how much oxygen is consumed. It should be almost ratio of 1 to 1 so that all oxygen is consumed and uh, there is no excess oxygen remaining. 
what are the advantages of biodiesel? Number one, we mentioned earlier, it is renewable and it's biodegradable. That means it does not remain uh, on, this, on, the, on the soil. For instance, if it disposed in the soil, it, 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 it disintegrates and it, it is biodegradable. It is also plant-based, thus carbon neutral. So it does not leave any carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In the form of methyl ester, it contains just about 0.01% sulfur, almost no sulfur at all, while ethyl esters contain virtually no sulfur. The other advantage is it reduces unburned hydrocarbons, uh, that is 93% uh, less, and carbon monoxide CO 50% less, and particulate matter or PM at 30% less in exhaust fumes as well as cancer causing PAH at 80% less and nitrated BH compounds 90% less compared to diesel. It also contains higher CN number, we notice that, and higher flash point compared to that of fossil diesel. Thus, it ignites faster and combustion efficiency is higher than diesel. Bare diesel is used as a means of recycling waste cooking oils. Bad diesel is, can also be used directly in most diesel engines without requiring extensive engine modification. So you might need a bit of modification, engine modification, but not that much. So let's look at the disadvantages of bio diesel. The first one is we notice that it has very high viscosity. You can see here the viscosity was 7.5 and uh, compared with diesel which is five and then it has low energy content you can see here the calorific value at 20 degrees it was about well, for biodiesel was 37 compared with 42.7 for diesel it also it has a cl higher cloud point and power point higher nitrogen oxide emissions lower aging speed and power and it has a lower aging compatibility uh, higher production cost because we said it's a plant so it has to be cultivated and then higher aging wear so those are the disadvantages of biodiesel now it is for you now to compare the advantages and disadvantages and you see where which is good for whether it's good or it is not good compared with the diesel also the bottom line you can see the production cost is very high and with that we come to the end of this video until the next 